Hi, I'm Chris from Millar's Tire Man in Bay City, Michigan on Euclid. And today we're going to show you how to change a spare tire. Alright, when changing a spare tire, these are the tools that you'll need. Uh, the lug wrench and the jack. And uh, if your car is equipped with a spare tire, then those tools will come with it. And if you have trouble locating them, you can always use uh, the owner's manual. Um, now, I also have some safety triangles, so if you're on the highway, those are excellent uh, to use to keep you safe uh, with oncoming traffic. And then in most vehicles, um, you can either find the spare tire uh, in the trunk for most cars. In a lot of SUVs and pickups, it's actually underneath the vehicle, and you have to lower it down. Right, the first step in changing the spare tire, once you've got the spare out and you have your uh, lug wrench and jack ready to go, is to loosen the lug nuts while it's still on the ground. And you just need a small little turn on them. And then you're ready to uh, uh, put the jack where it needs to go and uh, lift the vehicle up. Now, when locating your jack, most vehicles uh, will have a little location on where to put it. Uh, this vehicle has a little triangle on where you want to jack it up. Part of the uh, frame is there. So that will uh, definitely uh, be the safest place to jack it up. Now, if your car has a little bit of excessive rust or doesn't feel solid, uh, the best bet is to look up underneath and find what appears to be something uh, solid to locate the jack on because you definitely want it to be as safe as possible while your vehicle's in the air. And you can turn it up by hand until it gets in the proper location and then you will use your jack handle to get it the rest of the way up off the ground. All right, now that we have the vehicle off the ground, uh, ideally about a half inch is perfectly uh, fine. You don't want to get it too high off the ground to make it unstable. And then, uh, since we loosened the lug nuts already, uh, they'll come off with, uh, without too much uh, stress. your tire and then just uh, set it in a safe area then you're ready to put the spare on uh, which you just want to try and line up and then uh, you can start maybe a little uh, loose and hard to line up at first but if you hold it and screw one of the lug nuts on, it'll help it stay in place for you. Now with the lug nuts, you want to tighten them as far as you can by hand. Uh, sometimes you might have to use uh, the lug wrench for a majority of the time. Uh, these screw down pretty easily. Now it's important while it's still in the air to go around with the lug wrench and get them snug now you don't want to tighten them too much and put too much stress on the jack especially if you're on the side of the highway uh, because you still don't want the car to uh, fall off the jack And now that you have those uh, snug, uh, you can uh, start to lower the jack down. All right, so now that you've got the uh, spare tire on, uh, got the uh, lug nuts uh, somewhat tightened and you've lowered it down to the ground, uh, you wanna go ahead and tighten them, you know, just make sure they're extra snug, uh, nice and tight. So, uh, and usually you'll start like at the bottom and you go, go here and then go up to the top one. 
in a tightening sequence and then kind of just go uh, back and forth across on the lug nuts to make sure they're uh, uh, nice and snug on there. And it is important, you know, if you, uh, you know, this is a 2012 that we're working on. Um, the spare tire air probably hasn't been checked for a year or two. Um, it still has air in it, but you should probably try and do at least once a year to have your uh, air pressure checked in your spare tire. And then uh, now that you have your lug nuts uh, tightened and you're, uh, um, you're safe to go, make sure you load up all the tools and everything that you don't leave anything behind. And then you're uh, ready to take it to uh, tire store to have your tire inspected. Now with your spare tire, it is not a long-term solution. As you can see, there's a significant size difference in the tires. Now the manufacturer uh, gave you that size because it'll work with this vehicle. Now it's ideal to uh, not go over 50 miles an hour on your spare, and they recommend not over 50 miles in a single trip. Um, now the spare, you know, has tread on it, so it can last a while, but you just don't want it to get too hot because uh, it's a lot smaller tire. And you always want to run the air pressure on the spare on what it says for the uh, um, air pressure on it. Like that one says 60 psi, which is significantly more than this tire but it is a lot smaller of a tire, so it needs to have that larger pressure to make sure it handles the weight of the vehicle. Thank you for watching our video on how to change a spare tire. Um, now, I work for Millar's Tire Man in Bay City, and uh, this was, uh, we were able to do this thanks to the Bay County Library System, and uh, they have a lot of resources, whether it comes to, whether it goes to books in the library or like online databases, you can uh, reach out to any of the branches and they can help you with any of your automotive needs.